As we come back, let us remind you that at the Post Live, Serling on Saratoga is coming to you live from the Parting Glass Pub in downtown Saratoga and is presented by Naira and partners the Belmont Child Care Association. Save the date, August 26, 2015, for the Racing for the Children dinner and auction honoring Joanne and Paul Orifice at the Hall of Springs. And Special Olympics New York, be a fan. Visit www.specialolympicsnewyork.org. Welcome back. Thanks for staying with us and at the Post Live. And, of course, want to thank Mark Cassie and Barbara Banke for joining us. I, I was going to say we save the best for last, but I don't want to, you know, insult any of other guests. Um, and, and, she's, and you, actually, my next guest has already insulted Barbara Banke, so, so you're having a big night. This is now, if, you, if you're not familiar with the person sitting to my right, Barbara Livingston, then you're just not following racing because you are... I mean, you are all photography and racing. It's just you, Barbara, and everybody else. That's the way it should be. <laughs> <laughs> right, and you've done that by knocking people over when you're taking pictures and beating them up. And, and being offensive, like I was to Ms. Banky. I can't believe you insulted her. That was so ridiculous. I don't ever drink wine. She gave me some wine. I actually didn't hate it. I thought that was a compliment. Really, that's how it starts, you know. <laughs> next year, you'll be, next week, you'll be screaming in the back and yelling, we'll have to be carted out of here. That's how it starts. <laughs> now, by the way, speaking of next week, um, we were talking about it, and Barbara was saying how your favorite shows, and mine too, is when Alan Jerkins joined us a couple of years ago. Next week, we're going to have a tribute to the late, great Alan Jerkins. His son Jimmy's going to be here. I'm hopeful that Mike Cushion will be able to join us. Uh, Leah Giamatti told me today she'll be there. The great Andy Beyer, actually, who wrote a lot about the Chief, and, and, and that's how I heard about him first when I read his book. He will be around, so I'll try to drag him up here as well. So that'll be some fun. So, Barbara, thanks so much for coming and joining us. Thanks so much for asking. You're local, right? Did you grow up here? I did grow up here. I grew up about 20 minutes away, and when I was a little girl, about uh, 11, 12 years old, I came out to see Secretariat because I was a horse lover first, and uh, Ruffian the next year, and from Ruffian on, I was hooked. And after Ruffian won the spin away, and I photographed it with a little Instamatic, I told my family and I wrote in my diary, I'm going to be a horse racing photographer. So that was Ruffian. That's it. Ruffian, 1974. So, so I wasn't a Secretariat fan. Ruffian really got to me. So you know we're the same because that's the first horse in 1974. Is the first summer I actually 74 is the first summer I was here for the races, and she's the first horse that I actually specifically wanted to see race. How old were you? I was um, zero. I was, I was zero. in utero. I, I was in utero during that. I, I, I would never, you know, you know, I'm just not going to get into that girl. discussion. Come on. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that, Barbara. I was 46, actually. Believe it or not. I'm almost. I'm going to have my 90th birthday next summer. It's incredible. I carry it pretty well, don't I, Barbara? I'll photograph you it. You start here. Yeah, but you've already assaulted Barbara. You're working on me now. So roughly in '74, and and when? How long after that, honestly, did you start taking photography more seriously? At, at that moment. From yeah, an instamatic. Let's not get carried away here. Well, that's as well. You know, that's did it have one of the colored buttons on it? Was it one of those old? Yeah, well, it was a 126. You remember those? <laughs> No, it was before the ones with those buttons. Really? Wow. But, but it was I a box or something? And <laughs> yes, you sort it was a of box. You had to like right. crank it, put it down. No, I still actually have all the negatives from that, 1974, 75, 76, really? 77. And I was you know, a young teenager then, so I did take it that seriously. It almost was like a mental illness. I just became honed in on doing that, could never do anything else. So you, the, in, and, and next, you started coming again even the next summer and, and, and going and taking more yes. photographs, and you have all those negatives still? I have all those negatives, and when I had friends that knew people with horses, I'd drag them out there and I'd photograph them with my Instamatic and annoy people as I learned what things I wanted to, I'm annoying people again. Well, you have to annoy <laughs> people when you're a kid if you start loving racing because that's how you meet people. But, no Who did you meet it. back then in the 70s? Who were the people you met? Because obviously you're like me. You went to track up here, you must have met some people in racing that influenced you. No, I was too shy to meet anyone. Um, Nobody believes that. And, no, and I'm still too shy, actually. If I'm told, when I go to Barnes, I'm, I'm horrified that they're going to tell me to go away. Um, although After tonight, they might. <laughs> it rarely happens, but Kieran McLaughlin, I surprised him one morning, and he'd forgotten that I was supposed to come out for a shoot, and he, uh, he said a few, few words. He and swore on the show last <laughs> week, so okay, he's, he's, you know, um, he's he trouble, did. that guy. <laughs> Um, so who were who were, who were the first people you met? Or were you really as a kid you didn't meet like trainers or no? I really people, right? didn't. You know, Mary Ryan spoke with the jockeys and spoke with different trainers. And the one that I was most moved by was Alan Jerkins. And the first time I saw him speak, I was 14, but he scared me to death. Really? And I still had trouble speaking with him until the last two or three years, actually, because I revered him so much. He, I admired him. Because so he was much. such an awful guy, right? Yeah, horrifying. The nicest They're, man yeah. ever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm aware of that. Could, and he would offer me rides in this car. Like he would ride, you know, he'd be driving in the backstretch. He just offers people rides, and I'd say no because I was too afraid of him. 
Really? Yeah. You know, the first person, a racetrack person that I got to know was Ralph Thoreau Sr., oh. who, and his son Ralph Thoreau guy. works with this, of course, at Naira, and is a terrific guy, and Ralph yeah. has passed away. But as a kid, he was the first person that, you know, I'd call him from Saturday, tell me racing stories. And he was a, a, just a great man, and really yes. just one of the old-time, great, old-time yeah. racetracks. Of course, he was a good friend of the Chiefs as well. Um, so who were some of the horses after Ruffy? And you probably steal these pictures that really captured your you know your attention and you remember so well well again you know when i was a teenager forgo was really big he ran here uh the whitney they, they eased him they basically didn't try because it rained him. but it was so nice that they ran him for a fan like me even well, knowing that even he money would, on him well stop betting on a forgo in the slop but anyway i bet nearly on time who won the race all right uh, wise guy ta -da -ta. So <laughs> three-year-old for leroy jolly gets so, older yes indeed so so he obviously moved me and then uh gray phillies Women like gray horses. You know, turn back the alarm. Um, True bread pudding. I liked horses like that. Just yeah, uh, Saratoga do because she had the name Saratoga. You know, anybody where the connections were nice and didn't scare me away, I became a big fan of. Now, you know, when when did you start um, for being a professional photographer? And was it just in racing right away, or did you do other stuff? I've, I've never done anything else. I never hoped to do anything else. When I went to college, um, I made my. It was experimental photography, Syracuse University. But I did horse racing for every single assignment. Like we had uh, graveyards, so I did man of war. Technically, if most people went to the inner city, I went to the racetrack and had the best time in the world. Any assignment that I could do, I would turn to horses, which annoyed the heck out of my professors. Why? But they said because I had such a singular focus, I would never succeed. <laughs> that I should learn to do other things. Good call by them. <laughs> I'd, I'd like to talk with them all, but I don't remember their you don't, names. You don't go back and torture them? them? <laughs> You've done pretty well. You won two Eclipse Awards. Is that true? Before the third one. <laughs> so you won three Eclipse Awards. So uh, we're even out. I got her back, Barbara. I insulted her for you. <laughs> you can borrow one of your <laughs> You know, I think the person who finished second to you is in the audience right now, actually, okay. right over there. I can't She's see that, I can't see that right far because I have bad vision, but I believe you. I Chelsea, I think Chelsea's over I there. I love you. Think, You're the best. Right, she should have won, right? I, absolutely. You guys stole yeah, that I, award from I her. I picked yours. It's criminal. I picked yours. No, stop lying. It's a true story. Really? Well, I mean, I didn't vote. I just thought it was. I don't have a I vote. I liked it. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Her, her picture Great was job. pretty good. Actually. It was Great the horse job. jumping. It was, um, what's his name? Uh, Kate is a 10. It was Kate is a 10 jumping at the finish line. What were the photos that you won for? What Any particular horses or were they scenes more? Two of the three were for gray fillies, actually. Actually, one was Turn Back the Alarm, 1992, where she's reflected in a puddle beautifully, so it was artistic. Um, the next one was True Red Pudding, 2001. And same thing, she was very artistic looking. She had veins popping all out. She looked very dramatic and very racehorsey. And then uh, the one a couple years ago, I heard, oh, yeah, it was Tapature. Last year, Tapature in the Rain, uh, Kentucky Derby Week. And it just happened to be dramatic because it was before daylight and it was backlit artificial spotlights. And the lighting just looked remarkable. It was during a thunderstorm, so that sort of showed in the image. And and you've become the official photographer. Sort of. I mean, you're not. You, you're a freelancer, but you're the main photographer of the Daily Racing Forum now. I'm the, yeah, I'm the chief photographer for the Daily Racing Forum since 2008. Before that, I worked with the Blood Horse. And um, what are you, well, you? You travel everywhere. What, I mean, is Saratoga still and always your favorite place? No, not even close. Hialeah is my uh, favorite yeah. place, and I really only went to see racing there from 2000. 1999 to 2001. Which is and sort of the end. But it was sort of the yeah. end of what people speak of as Hialeah. Yeah. But I still like go there every year for the quarter horse races. I've really? got a couple of friends over here, like uh, Susie Rayshard. I suddenly see these people from the thoroughbred world at Hialeah on a random weekend. Susie how goes, to, goes to Hialeah? <laughs> yes, she does. Really? Did you ever go there when racing, Susie? No. Oh, really? Quarters, yeah. yeah I, I went to Hialeah in 87. So it was the only time I was there when it was still sort of in that somewhat his heyday mm -hmm. and went in the mid-90s when I was down there and I'd go to Gulfstream and they'd still race afterwards. Yeah. But Hialeah is the most beautiful place. Isn't that unbelievable? And Saratoga for me a second. But Now, do you, you obviously, because the horses are here now in Saratoga from April through October, it must almost make your life easier. It, it does make my life easier, except the torture of going to Monmouth on Sunday and missing Rachel's Valentina. You're not going okay. down there. Uh, well, it's a, you got a piece of that extra three quarters of a million or, they put in there? <laughs> yeah, that, that influenced me a lot. <laughs> 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 no, no, there's something about that Triple Crown winner. I might never photograph another one. You've you know, already got pictures of them. I mean, how many pictures of them do you need? Uh, you know, there are people that would say that, but again, I'm obsessed. I know, I know. I'm just sort of kidding. crazy. I know, you've got to go so, down. Yeah, so Monmouth's a nice place. 
It's a beautiful place. It is. Nobody wants to leave Saratoga if you're in Saratoga. It's very hard to leave. I find when I come here and I cross the border before I come to the meet, I think I'm never, I'm not leaving until after <laughs> Labor Day. Why would you want to leave this place? Exactly. And you live, how far out of town do you live? I live about 10 minutes from the track. And do you spend in the off season a lot of your mornings at the Oklahoma? Yes, I do. You know, it's sort of therapy. The people there are so great. I love the race trackers. I love their attitudes. I love the way they'll smile for the camera. Uh, I love watching the horses. It, it really, it's therapy. Have you finally gotten comfortable with the fact that you're actually part of the scenery? You're, you're officially, or you're still sort of nervous, you know, when I approach people? You mean to win like seven or eight more Eclipse Awards for that? I still don't want to, I still don't want to approach people. I'm, I'm great with the race trackers. The, like the regular ones like me, but, but tell me to go and talk to a trainer I've never talked to before. I'll do it. It's my job, but it scares me to death. And generally, they're very receptive. I've had no one turn me down yet, but there will be that day. Right. They're really nice. There's only one person that's actually turned me down for the show, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to work really hard that? to get him on. I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> Frank Lyons is outside. For all of you in here, I would not go outside until that guy has cleared the street. <laughs> Barbara? I can't thank you enough for coming and joining us. Thank I hope that you have a great time at Monmouth, and I will see you <laughs> this weekend. I'll see you back at the track on Monday. Barbara Livingston, Absolutely. thanks a lot for joining thank us. You. Stay with us. We come right back. At the Post Live is brought to you by Naira. Wager on Naira.com, Naira's new state-of-the-art wagering interface.